Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Jared Pauly's Fragrance Reviews. Tonight, I'm going to be reviewing a fragrance from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. This is Dolce & Gabbana Pour Home Intenso EDP, Eau de Parfum, which came out in 2014. This is a fragrance that several people I knew were wearing, and they hyped it up greatly. But personally, I expected more to this fragrance. It's not a bad fragrance. I think it's a good to moderately good fragrance, but it was somewhat of a disappointment, but I think it's worthy of reviewing because a lot of people, I think, hyped this fragrance in the past, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion on it. Take it out of the box here. It's got a fairly, it's a gorgeous bottle. So initially, give it a spray. Back of the wrist. So it did, initially you get a very sweet licorice lavender scent. But the the initial maybe five seconds, it has a fairly strong alcohol scent, but that dies off. Then it becomes kind of a little bit barber shop and a little bit herbal. It's actually a fairly pleasant opening. As the fragrance starts to dry down, it becomes deeper and more brooding. And there's a there's a fairly nice uh, slight tobacco scent, and the fragrance definitely becomes warmer. Later on, it becomes woodier, creamier. You still have some vague uh, licorice vibes or spicy vibes in the back, but it's definitely more earthy, and it's smooth, but in in a rugged type of fashion. So there are three, I would say, definite stages or transitions in this fragrance. And it is a nice fragrance. It's just that I was expecting a lot more because people were telling me a couple of fragrance people I knew saying, oh, it's the greatest fragrance. You got to try. It's the best ever made by Dolce Gabbana. And that was kind of my expectation. And if I wouldn't have had that expectation, maybe my thoughts would be somewhat different. But it's a good fragrance. And like I said, at this point, I often even get a little bit of a soapiness to it, which is interesting. As advertised, the top notes are lavender, various water notes, basil, marigold, and geranium. The mid notes are tobacco, hay, clary sage, and mopal accord and bran. The base notes are sandalwood, cypress, musk, amber, and labdanum. Performance on this is moderate. Uh, about three to four hours at best. Uh, average longevity. Uh, it's an okay scent bubble, an okay scent trail. Um, I do think it plays well off the clothes. And then you say, well, how, who would wear this? I think anybody in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. That way, this fragrance, I think, is very versatile. And you can wear it in a, a variety of situations. You could wear it to work. You could wear it on a date. It's, I, I would say it has a conservative sexiness to it. Nothing, ebra nothing abrasive and nothing that's going to offend anybody. So this, this fragrance, in uh, I think its greatest virtue is, it's, is its versatility and its ability to, um, how, how can I say, not to be abrasive uh, around anybody. It's not going to annoy anybody, but it's still, it's still sexy but it's, it's wearable at the office. So it's a very well-rounded fragrance that does not have any distinguishing characteristic that makes it stand out. And that's what I was looking for in this fragrance. Every fragrance I think should have a definite, uh, go in a different direction. This one is just kind of in the middle with, um, in, a, in a variety of directions. There's nothing, it doesn't choose a direction. And therefore, I think it maybe falls a little bit flat. Final thoughts on this fragrance. I thought I was going to be blown away by this fragrance, but I wasn't. It was, and I think that, like I said, that high expectation uh, maybe uh, ruined it for me in a sense, but I still think it's a good fragrance. And I think some people will love this. And one uh, thing with this fragrance, maybe it just does not resonate or play off my skin that well. And other people get a, a much better, uh, a much better vibe. See, even now, it's definitely becoming more, more herbal and brooding with the tobacco just a few minutes later. So, at the end, I think this is somewhat of a nondescript fragrance as it has no defining direction. And I think that's something uh, that this fragrance lacks 
And that makes it somewhat disappointing, especially with the expectations that I had. Some people may love it. This is something I would still definitely try um, if you can get it for a good price. And, and you may love it. You may think it's the greatest uh, fragrance in the world like a couple of people I knew. But for me, it's just a good fragrance at best that was somewhat um, not mediocre, but I expected a lot more. So if you like this video, hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, any comments or questions you have, leave them down below and I'll always get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.